Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing an update video on the products that I am trying to use up and this is round three. I struggled actually with this round of products that I was trying to use up. I didn't exactly love the look that I was getting, which is what I'm wearing now. It's not, it wasn't terrible. It's not terrible. I don't think this is a terrible look, but it just wasn't something that I was looking forward to putting on and that kind of stunk but it was on the other hand it was also nice to have just one place where i knew all the products that i want to, that i was going to use was in just the one spot so it made makeup application a lot easier and quicker but i just wasn't having fun with the product so uh the products i'm going to add into this which i'll do another video on later um I'm going to try to do looks that are just more fun or, or more that I want to wear. And like I said, this isn't bad. It just was, I'm, I wasn't loving, I think, the products. So let's get started. And I was trying to finish all these products up by summer, June 21st. Happy Father's Day, by the way. Um, yeah, I'm, I had 22 products here and I, I don't even know if I got through, maybe I got through half of them. So the first thing is the NYX eyeshadow base, and this was in 03. It's, I like products like this where it cancels out any redness or veins and things like that, but this just didn't jive, jive with my eyes because they are so oily and so I try to use it as foundation because it was so thick and creamy but it was actually too heavy for my skin and I ended up just tossing that and then next was the NYX gloss in beige and it looks like I'm done but I'm actually not this was I opened it up and it's actually pretty no I'm not gonna say it's easy because I almost hurt myself but you are if you want to you are able to open it up from the bottom and I put it in the NYX eyeshadow base I just love seeing products get finished and this is a much easier way to see that so this is the product and I did use a lot of it but I think it got just too old and I'm not a fan of gloss to begin with if you saw my lipstick declutter I didn't have that many glosses to get rid of so I am actually going to be tossing this and using that container for something else. I just am not liking that gloss. Okay, next is a product that I am really excited about to tell you that I'm done with is the Jordana Fabu Liner. And I had mentioned quite a few times that this is the engine that kept on going. Like it just went on and on and on and on and on and it just would not quit, which is a good thing. But what started happening was the tip, I don't know if you could see right here, it started to get warped and it wasn't giving me a straight line. So, I mean, it still has product as you can see here, but it, it doesn't make a nice line. So I am tossing it, but this one's pretty good. And if it's so inexpensive if you're looking for a long lasting eyeliner this was very good it lasted forever uh next is the revlon oh primer so for primer i was using a cc cream this is the revlon ages fine cc cream and i just i was trying to force myself to use this up but i did not really like it enough that i wanted to finish it so i am uh tossing this i just you know i have other primers that I want to try to get through and so this that's being tossed <laughs> uh, next is oh and I do have a replacement for it this is the monostat complete care gel which you can use as a primer I use quite a bit of it and this is going to be in the next round and not every category here of things that I finished up uh, you'll see um, you'll, you'll see a replacement for it Next up was foundation, and I finished up a Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse foundation, which looked like this, and I did like this foundation. The problem was that when I went to use the product, it would split up into little bits, and just, it got messy, and I, while I liked it, I don't like it enough to go through that mess of using it, and you will see that I have another foundation in here, which is the one that I'm trying to use up. It is actually a combination, which I am loving of the L'Oreal True Match, and this one is in W3, and the Maybelline Super Stay. So I mixed these two. This was too dark, this was a little light, so mixed together. I feel like I just, I love the coverage, and it's just such a nice foundation to apply. So that's what I'm working on now. And then we have 
so I lip balm I finished the Carmax lip balm and this is fantastic I absolutely love this lip balm and it's probably my choice at the drugstore and as you can tell I opened it up because there was so much in here that I was not going to let it go to waste especially for something that I do like and then uh, next is the I have put the pixie correction concealer brightening and brightening peach it looks like that and this is a struggle for me I think those extra steps like primer and uh, brighteners and things like that are a little bit of a struggle for me because I just want to use a product that uh, you know does the job so I feel like this is just an extra step and I haven't really made a dent in it I always have to try to remember to use this uh, because I just go straight for the concealer so I didn't really do that well but I'm gonna continue to leave it on the list then for concealer, I had the Instant Age Rewind Concealer in Fair, which I thought was too light, but I actually like to use it as a brightener, so that's why another reason why I didn't really use it, um, and just to highlight all over my face, and I did like this, so I, I'm not going to repurchase anytime soon, but I did end up liking this product, and what I did was I took off this tip because this I just could never figure out if the product was coming out and how much but I took it off which was really easy you just rip it off and then um, you just twist it and get the amount that you want and you, you're able to see that okay and so I replaced that with a Maybelline the, the Maybelline dream mousse concealer and this I actually mixed I'm a chemist in my makeup makeup lab. Uh, so I mix, this is beige medium with light cream. So this one is empty because I mixed the two in here. And I am, this, this is the concealer that I'm wearing and I absolutely love this concealer. And this one doesn't ball up. So I'm not sure, but this, I just really like this concealer and I'm, enjoying using this up uh, then we have the Smashbox photo ready concealer and I do like stick form concealers this one was for all over my face um, but I don't know about this I'm gonna have to think about whether I I didn't use it up I did use some of it but I didn't use it up I'm gonna have to think about whether to keep this around or not because it is very old it's probably my one of my first purchases in a gift set from Sephora uh, next was the Avon incredible finish powder and I am almost done with this so I potted this I don't know what's wrong with me and oh you know why because it started to get that film on top of it you know the kind of gets waxy looking and it was really hard for me to get any product so I just I put it into bare minerals and that's all I have left so maybe another uh, two three days and I will be done with that uh, for eyebrows I was able to finish up the NYX auto eyebrow pencil just did not like this uh, I just recently started getting into doing my brows and I'm right now I'm using uh, the Maybelline brow drama sculpting brow mascara and this is great for when you don't want to spend a lot of time on your brows and I think it's good for people who already have a lot of brows but they just want to define it so that's just what I did I didn't use any other products and I do like this so that's what I'm trying to finish up this um, it's a little too red for me this is in the color deep dark brown and this was in deep brown as well so oh what dark brown and deep brown I just did not like this and I wouldn't recommend that uh, the Urban Decay primer potion now if you wait did you guys see that video already yeah it was a recent get ready with me that I did uh, this is I had mixed original Eden and anti-aging and I don't know if that was a mistake because I this doesn't work as well anymore and 
Um, it could be because I mixed the three or I've had this for so long, so or my eyes are just got used to it. I don't know. Uh, so I am going to try to finish this up, but I do have the NYX HD primer that I like uh, ready to next products next two products were actually two cream blushes and the one I took out was the Revlon photo ready one in coral reef and I ended up really liking this cream product it's a beautiful color and so I was like you know what let me just try to finish up the one that I am not too crazy about but it's not too terrible and that was the Sonia Kasia cream blush in petal Ta-da! I am done with it. I couldn't believe how fast that it got finished. I used it every, almost every day as a base to put on powder, and that's how I like to use cream blushes. I don't really like to just wear them on their own. So I did finish that, and then uh, we have as a highlight, this is the Estee Lauder Signature Shimmer Powder in Gold Pearl. And this is another product that started to get the wax film, so I just crushed it up and then repressed it so that's why it looks a little bit funny but I am going through this not quickly because I only highlight you know certain parts of my face so I um, am struggling to get through this and this could take on a very silvery tone if I'm not careful so um, yeah it's taking me a long time and I'm starting to not like this product so hopefully I can get through it quickly uh, then for bronzer, I am using the Cargo Blu-ray. I wasn't able to finish it, but I was able to use a lot of it. broke, by the way. I'm not, this part I got broken. Oh, look, you can see me. Hi. <laughs> uh, so this is how much I used, and I am going through this. It's taking a while. I don't know if it's because it's firmly pressed in there. I feel like there's a lot more product left. Um, I do like it. I'm not loving it, but I do like it, and um, I've had this for a very long time. Um, it was in that when Cargo was doing 7 and 7. So you had 7 full-size products for a really great price, and then um, Sephora changed it to like deluxe sample sizes, but I got it when it was 7 full sizes for a really great price. Anyway, uh... Oh, there was two, another bronzer. It was the Body Shop bronzer. And again, there is no way I would be able to finish two bronzers in like in two months. So I took out the Body Shop bronzer and I will put that in for the next round after I finish the cargo one. And for a lip, I had the Revlon Lip Butter and Peach Parfait. And I was able to finish that. So I got every little last bit out. For mascara, I had two. I have two mascaras going. This is the Makeup Forever, which one? Is Smoky Extravagant and the Benefit They're Real. And I'm not in love with either of these. But what I found is I switched the the caps because the Benefit They're Real uh, brush is amazing. It just has these little spikes that get into every single lash. So I am loving the brush of the Benefit Their Real Mascara. It's wonderful. Um, but I'm still using up the Smoky, the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara. But I did finish the Benefit Their Real uh, Deluxe Sample. And then I have the... This is the Lavender Chamomile Facial Blotting Tissues by The Body Shop. I was able to go through a lot of these, but this is just another, but how I keep on referring to those extra steps that I just don't do. And even if I take it with me, I forget, and I just, I have to constantly remind myself to use this up. Uh, oh, you know what? I didn't... I feel like I skipped something. Oh, that's because it's not on this list. Okay, for blush, I added the a powder blush. I added the NYX blush in, I think this is pinky, and this was in my toss, but I do like this blush a lot. And as you can see, I did hit pan, which is really exciting because I feel like blush is one of those products that's super hard to finish unless you're looking like a clown every day. So to hit pan on here, I am pretty excited. And I did use it on my eyes a little bit too, as along with the bronzer. And the very last product on this list was the Smashbox Limitless Eyeliner in Onyx. And 
it's almost done. It's going to get to the point where I can't sharpen it and that's when a pencil is done for me anyway. And that is the end of the products that I was trying to use up and I did calculate how many I had. I had 22 products and I was able to finish up 12 which isn't so bad but I did have a few that I just had to toss because I did not like it but that's uh, also a good thing in this project. Um, you know you're not going to I know I kept, have kept lots of makeup products around that I don't love, so this, this is just a, another way to declutter. And it's these are really fun to do, to struggle to do sometimes, especially when you're not loving the look like I did, loving the look that I get from these products. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what products you are trying to finish up, and I hope you guys are all doing well. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.